All right, we cut the three titties off of them down there. And that, that came out good. I'm happy with that. All right, now we're going to uh, put a two and a quarter inch hole in here for the piston. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. Let me throw you guys up on the tripod. All right, I got to put a two and a quarter inch hole in the center of this. I'll try and stay out of the way of the camera. And I got to find the center. Now, I'll give you a tip. This is for some of the younger guys because the old guys already know this. But nine out of ten times, if, if I asked the younger guy to find the center of something, he would uh, measure, you know. This is five inches by six. And I'll say you go two and a half inches and put a line and then. Uh, See, I, I said I was going to try to stay out of the way, but I didn't. All right, so that was, uh, I'd say two and a half by three. And you find your center. That's fine, because this is a, a nice nominal piece. But say it was uh, five and three quarters by six and five eighths or something goofy. All right, what you need to do is uh, make a little X from corner to corner. And you got yourself your center. Like I say, all the old guys know this, you know, it's basic and simple, but I hardly ever see anybody use it. So there you go. There's your center. Right there. Alright, let's uh, let's cut a hole. Alright, see that way you don't need any rulers or tape measures or anything, you just need a straight edge and uh, and you're there. Alright, here's something else I wanted to show you. I'm going to make a two and a, where are you at? Here you go. I'm going to make a two and a quarter inch hole and this is fresh out of the box, Lennox. You know, you think you get something that would be uh, half round or close to it, but if you look at it, let me see here. This thing is is closer to a square than anything, and it's made in the United States. You know, and this is this uh, this is a decent brand, Lennox. I mean, it's not not top of the line, but it's not bottom of the line either. It's not the carbon freight or nothing. But anyway, this ain't a precision operation, so this will be all right for me. But if somebody wanted to make himself a perfectly round hole, you're not going to do it with the uh, with this. Interesting. I could I could beat this a little bit and uh, try and square or try and round it up, but uh, it's uh, it's all right for my application. All right, let me let me go throw it in a drill press. All right, let's see how this cuts. You can see how. Uh, this cutter really isn't all that uh, round, but uh, let's see how it works. Shut you off while I cut this so you don't have to listen to all that noise. Alright. Alright, I think we're uh, getting close to getting through there. Just gotta take our time. You know, it's cutting, you know, it was grabbing a little. What? Yeah, I see some wood, so it must be through. Here we go.
much. Uh, not perfect, but uh, it's going to do. It's going to do the job for us. All right, let me clean this up a little and take a look at it. All right, let's have a look at that. that uh, it's pretty good. I don't know if you see that on camera, but... Uh, came close to... Uh, there you go, try here. It's uh, close, close enough for us. About maybe a 64th over, but uh, we know what we're dealing with, and that's uh, this ain't a critical piece, so we're fine with that. Alright, let me, I uh, got two more of these to do. Let me do them and uh, we'll show you what else we're doing. Alright, here's what we're doing now. This is uh, the bottom of the block, or the cylinder, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it the cylinder. I, uh, I made a tracing of it here. I'll show you what I'm going to do. See, we're going to weld this to the bottom. And even though I center this hole, we're not going to center the, the cylinder on it. We're going to put it right about there. And then we're going to come down and go around the, the valve tappets. These here are your valve tappets that go in there. So this whole little section here is all going to be cut out on this, on this plate. So... I'm going to cut this out now, just so I can lay it out a little better. All right. All right. Here's the, I cut out the, the tracing I made. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, knock a couple lines down here. Just Come just past the bottom. This ain't all that critical either. So now I'm going to cut this out and use this, and then that'll be able to show me where I where I got to cut that out. All right, we we'll cut out like a little tombstone here, and uh, this is going to be right up against the cylinder wall here, and then this will give us room for our tappets. So I'm going to transfer that. Doesn't matter if it's this way or that way; or it's, it's all going to be centered. But this, and this is going to be a little wider here. So I'm just going to lay this out, and it, it, like I say, it's not that critical. And I'll probably radius the edges and stuff like that. But you won't be able to see this black marker, but I will. And I just have to, to cut that out. But what I'll do is actually widen it to the outside of this circle here. And then, uh, then that'll uh, do what we got it to do. All right. All right, I drilled two holes here for a radius. Now I just gotta cut this and cut this and cut this. I don't know. I guess I'll do that with a sawzall or a cutoff saw or something. We'll see. Let me cut it out and see what it looks like. And then clean it up with a file. Alright, there we go. I uh, cut that in the shape of a tombstone. And uh, this is where it's gonna go. It's gonna go uh, just about like that. You know, we could have just drilled uh, two holes here, left the, left the center hole and then two holes here. But uh, we want to make sure that the, the tappets and the valves got plenty of oil. So we figured we'd open it all up. Alright, so that's, uh, that's what it's going to look like. Let's look in here. Let me turn the light on here. Here we go. It'll be just about like that. The, cil the cylinder itself is going to be in the center. The piston itself is going to be in the center, but the, the head and everything is going to look like it's all center, which is fine. You know, we kind of like that look. But uh, there's one down, two more to go. All right, this video is probably getting pretty long, so uh, let's call this a, a done deal. All right, see you later.